A six-month-old fingers were missing flesh in Indiana, suffering over 50 rat bites to the face in squalid homes. A baby found nearly eaten alive by rats was hospitalized and his parents were facing felony charges in Indiana after police say they found the infant inside the family's rodent-infested home. Police department responded to a home September 13th after the child's father called police and said his six-month-old son appeared to have suffered serious bite wounds. The child's parents, aged 28 and 31, were booked in the county jail Thursday on multiple counts of neglect and other criminal charges. The baby had been released from the hospital and had been placed in foster care. The officer said he's been an officer for 20 years and they've seen some serious neglect cases, but nothing where it involved rats feeding off of child. It's horrible. The couple lived at the home with their three children, including the baby and another family member who is 25 and her two children. When officers responded to the home, police found the six-month-old baby suffering more than 50 bite wounds to his head and face. All four of the victim's fingers and thumb on his right hand were missing the flesh from the top of them, exposing fingertip bones. The index and pinky fingers were the most severe as they were missing the flesh halfway down each finger. Paramedics stabilized the baby and transported him to a local hospital. Medical records reviewed by detectives, the infant's temperature was 93.5 degrees upon arrival, and he had a blood oxygen level of 69. The infant's vitals, according to medical experts, showed the baby was suffering from moderate hypothermia as well as hypoxemia. The finding came just a few weeks after an Indiana Department of Child Services worker reported the home had a rodent infestation. A technician noted in the report that trash was stacked in the backyard, which would continue to attract rodents. During a police interview, the 25-year-old identified was the baby's aunt. She told investigators two children living in the home told a teacher on September 1st that their feet was being bitten by mice while they slept in the home. Five days later, September 5th, a caseworker, Christina White, traveled to the home. Police wrote and spoke with the aunt who told White the home had a normal amount of mice and denied wounds to the one child's feet were caused by the rodent. Detectives said the caseworker provided the aunt with a safety plan and said she would return for a follow-up visit September 14th. But when the police visited the home September 13th, they reported observing bloodstained rodent footprints, rodent feces, and trash strewn about. A caseworker note showed the house was littered with trash, animal feces, and dirty dishes. But the caseworker concluded the house was slowly improving. The caseworker visited the home on September 9th, four days before the father dialed 911 to report his son's injuries. On Monday, a judge issued warrants for the baby's parents and his aunt. The couple is charged with multiple counts of neglect of a dependent. The baby's mother is also charged with reckless supervision of a child, and her husband is also facing a probation violation. The aunt, who was booked in jail Thursday, is charged with two counts of neglect of a dependent and remained jailed Friday on a $2,500 bond. All children in the home have since been removed from their parents' care by DCS. I hope that where the kids end up, they are in a better, loving, most valuable situation than they were experienced or introduced to. To me, it sucks and it's so heartbreaking that before something is done or be the kids are removed from the home, they're already through or went through a traumatizing experience. I just don't like that people who have no intentions of taking care of their children just leave them there to suffer of their own irresponsibilities or their own selfish reasons. Humanity, we must do better.